Hey yo, Modern Warfare 2 full release is tonight. Jeez. Hey, but first I gotta say the campaign was absolutely fire. I had a blast with it. Overall, I give the campaign an 8 out of 10. You know what I'm saying? Without spoiling it too much, I thought it was really amazing. It was realistic. The stuff that happens in the campaign is based off of like believable real world events. So I really thought it was fire. The only reason it didn't get the 9 or the full 10 is because at the end of the day, we did have some visual bugs. You know what I'm saying? Definitely had some visual issues as well as there were some goofy moments in the campaign that just don't make sense in context to the full story. Other than that, I really thought everything was really solid. Like I said, eight out of 10. So for the details tonight, so basically the launch is gonna be at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, or if you're on the East Coast, it's gonna be midnight Eastern Standard Time. So rumor has it there's gonna be a day one update. Nobody really knows how large it's gonna be. I mean, typically most games these days have a day one patch, so hopefully they, they optimize it for stability, things like that. But from what I heard, total game size, and it's probably including Warzone and the DMZ, the total game size is 130 gigabytes. Oh my God. Ah, ah. Hey, make sure y'all clear off them hard drives, bro. If y'all trying to play this on day one, you make sure you got a whole hard drive ready for this thing. Personally, I'm gonna be playing off of NVMe, so that bit gonna go fast. If you don't have an NVMe, I would definitely suggest it. SSDs do pretty good as well. All I can say for real is good luck if you're using the HDD, Lord have mercy. The one thing I really have to say though, I'm really impressed at how well they optimize this game, especially for 5K ultra wide. That's what I'm talking about, baby, let's go. Man, people don't be understanding how hard it is for us ultra wide gamers, man. Imagine gaming and you got three fourths of your screen Cut off by black bars because it's not optimized Ooh. or the hud is at the edges of the screen in ultra wide oh but they did their thing man i'm excited and i appreciate what they did so here's some new additions we got something called the modern warfare 2 vault <laughs> long story short it's a weapon builder where you can store all your weapons it's like the armory from what i've seen the videos that i've seen is very equivalent to tarkov where you can fully break down your weapon and reassemble it with any parts that you want of course you got to unlock the parts that's modern warfare classic the one thing i've noticed and it's probably due to licensing is that they cannot use the original names of any of the weapons or its individual parts i'm sure that the original manufacturers have copyrights on every single piece of the gun that they put in games although it's going to be somewhat as detailed as tarkov tarkov being based in russia it does get around some of those licensing issues also if you participated in the beta you will be getting some rewards we're getting some camos some skins and some gun camos should be pretty nice also if you did the early access campaign you are also getting rewards definitely day one is going to be fire make sure y'all tap in and get all of those skins make sure you tap in get all of those skins and those rewards that you earn by doing the early access or the beta also there's going to be twitch drops on october 28th so definitely stay tuned because i will have them in my stream yes sir also there's a few bonus xp options definitely the mountain dew is one of the classics definitely look out for that one but there's also some codes that can be passed around so keep your eyes peeled for some double xp man also i wouldn't be surprised if they give us a double xp weekend this upcoming weekend or the following weekend we'll see this weekend might be a little too soon maybe we also getting spec ops with the full release man spec ops is one of the most classic series in modern warfare i cannot wait to try this out for the maps we have a total of 16 maps that's the 6v6 and the ground war maps but for the 6v6 we actually only have 11 maps on day one we're only getting 10 maps for some reason the museum map was removed i don't know if it was due to balancing or just being not optimized or something i don't know but 10 maps ain't too bad and I'm mostly gonna be playing at 6v6 and I'm definitely gonna be playing that hardcore baby yes indeed actually so the hardcore has been renamed to tier one that probably might have been in 2019 as well I didn't play Call of Duty 2019 so I don't have no idea I can respect that you know what I'm saying hardcore it's kind of an old name you know what I'm saying you're doing something new that's good I like it we're doing something new so overall I'm super excited for the launch of Modern Warfare 2 definitely stay tuned for more Modern Warfare videos check me out on Twitch especially on the 20 8th for the twitch drops hope this information helped you guys a little bit hope you're excited as i am stay tuned and i'll see you on that battlefield